Today's video was sponsored by Policy Genius. Welcome back to the sawmill, friends. It's a hot day here in Tennessee, and as you can see, we're in my truck. We're not at the sawmill yet. I'm over at the Gray Fair, and the reason I'm over here today is I stopped by the, uh, I'm not sure what exhibit that is, the arts and crafts section, I guess. My wife has two quilts entered in the fair this year, so I thought I'd swing by here today and see how she did. And hopefully, she won a ribbon. I think this is the first time she's ever entered any of her quilts. She does a really good job. She does not give herself nowhere near enough credit for the job she does on these. Let's go take a look. good size pine. This is a 10 footer. The diameter is about maybe 20 inches down here, a little bit larger on that far end. We grab my cant hook, we'll roll it on. Oh, my goodness. Where in the world is my cant hook? It never fails. You get ready to lose something, you can't find the tool you're looking for. That happens to me all the time. Let's see if I can push this on there and roll it maybe. That's not a good idea. Let's go find the can hook. Today's video was sponsored by Policy Genius. If you have anyone relying on your income, then you need life insurance. It's that simple. Policy Genius makes it easy to get life insurance done and done right. I run a lot of dangerous equipment here at my small business, from chainsaws to large tractors to hydraulic sawmills. And life insurance is very important to me, and it's even more important to my family. Properly provide for their families. Most people need 10 times the life insurance coverage than they get through their employer. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare quotes from over a dozen top insurers all in one place. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. Getting started is easy. First, head over to policygenius.com slash out of the woods. In minutes, you can work out how much life insurance coverage you need and compare personalized quotes to find the best price. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. We want to thank our friends at Policy Genius for sponsoring today's video. We really appreciate it. All right, friends, let's take a quick measurement here before we start the engine. This is the operator's side. Diameter is about 28 inches. That's a pretty good size pine log, but there's a pretty large defect right here on top. Let me show you. So as you all can tell, this was cut 
right below a cluster of knots right here or limbs, you know, the same thing. And there's knot clusters about every two feet on this log. This probably came from a yard. I think I got this from a tree service. I can't remember. But a lot of that diameter that we just measured, about six inches of it are these big knots right here. So uh, it's actually probably around 24 inches, maybe 22 inches. And uh, that's not fun to saw into guys. When you hit a knot, you're hitting, you know, you're hitting face grain or end grain rather. And you can have trouble right there sometimes. I don't think your 70 is going to have trouble, but a smaller sawmill, when you see large knot clusters like this, you always grit your teeth because you don't know what's going to happen. Usually it's hard to keep it flat. Here on the end, yeah, 20 inches down here. That's more like it. So not too bad. All right, guys, we got hot coffee ready. Good sized pine log. Top of the line sawmill right there. Today on the mill, I'm running a uh, Silver Tip Turbo 7. I get those from Joe Main down in Georgia, guys. If you're interested in them, down in the video description, you can find his phone number and email. Give him a call. Those are really good blades. These are inch and a half, though. Well, the 40 ran inch and a quarter, so we got a bigger blade on here. And the thickness is 055. It's the thicker blade. So the only thing I'm missing is an off bear. So uh, that would be nice. But I don't have one here today, so we'll do the best we can. We're solid one bias today. These are going to be four quarter. I actually will probably set the uh, pattern for inch and sixteenth. And once I get a good stack of these, about 1,500 feet or so, we're going to put these in the Nile kiln get them down to about 10% moisture content, and then take them in the shop and run them through the wood miser molder and make some shiplap for the new shop. So it's gonna be some good stuff here on these boards. I'm looking forward to it. As far as width, I'm gonna play it by ear. I'll probably just take some jacket boards around the middle of the log, work down to maybe a, maybe a one by 10, and then throw that can up there and do pattern mode and just come all the way down with it. A lot of big knots on that log right there. I mean, some of them were probably 12 inches. Mmm, nasty stuff. Friends, this face right here is about 20 inches wide. And my goodness, look how smooth that is right there. Now there's a little bit of blade chatter right there and that's not because of the LT70. 
That's because of my feed rate, guys. I'm still learning this saw. There's a pretty big learning curve in those controls. But my goodness, check that out. Look how smooth that looks. When I'm going to correct speed, man, it's just really nice. Look how nice that cut is right there. No blade marks or nothing. That is super nice right there. And look at the size of that knot. And it's nice and flat. Can't beat it, guys. Cannot beat it. And then down here on this end, you can see some more blade chatter, and that's because I'm going way too slow, guys. I need to speed this thing up. Because I sped up right here past it around this knot cluster and had a pretty good exit right there. My goodness, check that out. For some knotty pine, and, I, and I'm telling you guys, those are some large knots on this log. That right there is really good right there. Really happy with how this is going. We've got two more faces to cut. We'll start making some boards. guys let's do a quick measurement here operator side gosh that's shown 28 inches but there's a large cluster of cluster this log is claustrophobic right here my goodness <laughs> claustrophobic good lord <laughs> 